What's going on everybody? Is there back coming to you with another video today? We are going to talk about the most important aspect of our lives that is classic wow. That's just a joke. Okay, I'm kidding. Your wife, your husband, your your kids, your, your occupation way more important <laughs> than classic wow. But all jokes aside, and that was probably a pretty terrible one. Let's talk about the journey from 1 to 60. Most of us I feel have gotten to level 60. Uh, if you haven't gotten level 60 yet, I'm sure you're probably within 10, 12 levels of it by now. So, let's talk about your journey from 1 to 60. You logged in. Boom. What was the first thing you thought? Probably if you played on Monday on launch day, it was like, holy, this is bad. <laughs> I, can't, I can't get anything done. I can't get any of these quests done. Blah, 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 blah. Me, I took a whole day off. I took all Monday off. I didn't even log on on Monday. I was like, these queue times are ridiculous, not going to work. Some of you may know, my wife and I had this conversation. She was like, hey, you know, I'll give you whatever you need. Just promise me that, you know, it's going to be done and over in these, you know, in these two weeks. I was like, absolutely, hell yes, it will be over. Um, because as we all know, Classic, its lifespan is limited, right? There's only so much you can do, and that's another video for another day. But this 1 to 60 is a grind. There ain't no doubt about it. It's a grind. Um, you can go about it a few different ways. Either A, you can hit it hard and heavy, fast, and knock it out as fast as you possibly can. And just get to 60 and just when you get done, just collapse in your chair. Or two, you can you know push really, really hard those first 30, 40 levels. And then slow down a little bit. Take your foot off the accelerator for a minute. And enjoy those last you know, 15, 20 levels. And then there's always option number three, which is don't push it, don't go fast, just let it, let everything happen organically. Just log on, enjoy your time, don't try to rush everything, just go from one place to the next, one quest to the next, one zone to the next, you know, meet friends that you may make. I have got at least a half a dozen people that were never on my friends list, that were never on my Bnet, that are there and they're not leaving. I got people that are hitting, I've, I've got tanks, I've got like... I'm not even joking. Some of the best tanks on the server hitting me up and saying, bruh, do you need Ubers? You need Elbers? You need Scolo? You need Strat? You need UD? Or you need Live? Like, this is no joke. This is what Classic was all about. Making friends, creating connections, and those connections drawing you either toward a guild or drawing you toward a specific goal that everyone collectively has in that group and right now it's it's been about just getting pre bis everybody getting their pre pre raid best in slot and we have made videos on that be sure to check those videos out up here in the corner the the big the biggest thing right is going to be is going to be solely about once you get pre raid bis once you get to 60 what happens next again a video for another topic for another time so my journey from 1 to 60 admittedly was was pretty fast but once I hit that wall of level 35 plus that's when things started to happen a little bit more organically okay so day one I went from 1 to 20 just like that I mean it was like bing bang boom done and over with next day 20 to 30 boom done just knocked it out Day three, it was like 30 to 35 and a half, almost 36. Couldn't quite get there. And then after that, it was just, 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 just kind of just slugged my way through 35 plus. Um, there were a lot of key points that happened though. I went into the Badlands. I'm following this guide. Um, I'm following a leveling guide that honestly was just god awful. I'm not going to mention the person's name that I followed. I might have mentioned it in stream. The guild members know who I used, but this person's also in our guild. It's in our guild Discord, so I don't want to bring any shame or embarrassment. I know that this person did the best they could with the information that they had. Private server information was really outdated, but not entirely accurate, and a lot of things were different in live servers. And I know this person actually was one of the world first 60s, so I don't want to knock that person. That person knows what they're doing, but they just missed a lot of gaps. 
in the in, in, in the guide. There would be issues where like, hey, you'll hit level 46 here. And then like a page and a half later, like, hey, you'll hit level 46 here. A page and a half, hey, you're going to hit level 46 here. I'm like, what, well, you expect me to hit level 46 three times? And there would be like this massive gap like, oh, yeah, you need to go back to this zone with, with this flight path. I was like, you never told me to go get this flight path in that zone. When, like, what do you, like, this happened probably at least a few dozen times. It was pretty terrible. And there were multiple times in the guide. Like, at one point, I'm not even kidding. There was a point in the 40s where I literally, it told me to grind for three levels. Not three bubbles. Not just one level. I'm talking, like, three whole levels. From, f like, 42 and a half to 45 and a half, it was just nothing but grinding the same mob in the same zone over and over and over and over and over. And thankfully, I was so far ahead of the curve, I was able to do that. Nowadays, there ain't no way you're going to be able to do it because layering beside the point, at this point, every zone is populated. Everybody's basically gotten to where there's a good chunk of players in every level bracket. So... I'm, l I'm glad I was ahead of the curve, and I'm glad I was able to ding 60 when I did. And that guide went a long way towards helping me, but my god, there was probably more headaches with that guide than there should have been. So, eh, is what it is. So moving beyond that, once I hit, like I said, once I hit that wall in the upper 30s, things started happening a lot more organically, and I started finding myself having a lot more fun. Even though the guide had me hitting some walls along the way. First things first, I was probably, and I play on Pagel, U.S. server on Pagel, I was probably server first with Broken Tooth. I, 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 don't, I don't know what to say. I don't know how else to say that. I'm not trying to brag. Um, I have no proof or evidence. I just know that in a less than a week from launch, in like four days from launch, because I took the first day off, Day one, I went 1 to 20. Day two, 20 to 30. Day three, I was, like, mid-30s. Day four, I was, like, going into the 40s. So, like, from 35 into the 40s. So, it would have been day four for me, day five for the server, for, like, Classic WoW in general as a whole. I had Broken Tooth on my fourth day of playing, fifth day total. So, if I wasn't server first, I was definitely one of the top three or four hunters with it. Which made me feel absolutely incredible. And honestly, I have actually gone back to the Badlands for other quests since like, I got into my mid-upper 50s. And even recently, I went to go help a guildie who was there in her mid-40s. Shout out to her. Name is Lena Asalina from our guild. Um, I was there helping her, and I just happened to run into Broken Tooth again. The exact same spot that I like got him in. And I was like, attention, all hunters in the guild. Get your butt to Badlands right now. Of course... Our only hunters that could have gotten and tamed Broken Tooth were offline. Everybody else was too low level. And it just broke my heart because I was like, ah, this is a really awesome moment. I, I I, want other people in my guild to experience that rush of emotion that I felt when I ran into the Badlands. And there, lo and behold, was Broken Tooth just waiting for me on a pedestal. Um, another thing that happened organically was the mount, the level 40 mount. I kept telling people in my guild, and I kept telling other hunters, I'm like, look, you're a hunter, you don't really need to worry about your level 40 mount. It'll come when it comes, you're not really losing out a whole lot. As long as you're not going long stretches, like that stretch from freaking, um, you know, Dustwall of Marsh and Theramore all the way to Thousand Needles. As long as you're not making that trek, or you're going from Ratchet, rather, all the way to Thousand Needles, because you're going to go through it through Ratchet, because you got to go through the Barrens. As long as you're not making that trek to Thousand Needles to kill, have all those kill quests in the Salt Flats, as long as you're not making that kind of a trek, you're not going to be you're not going to be missing your mount. So I actually ended up going all the way to level 47 before I had enough gold for myself. I had actually had a friend of mine who had let me borrow 15 gold, and I didn't use it. I was like, hell no, I'm just going to hold on to that gold and I'm going to wait. And I ended up with like 130 gold. So I bought my training, I bought my mount, and I sent him his 15 gold back. I was like, dude, no, I'm not doing this. I don't want to be accused of anything, you know, because if I did, if you did it for me, you're going to have to do it for everybody, or I'm going to have to do it for somebody else, blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to do this. So here's your gold back. I'll do it on my own. 
I got my I got my mount, and honestly, I'm perfectly happy with it. I getting it at level 47 felt unique, felt organic. It wasn't a hey, you know, hit 40, boom, you instantly get access to it. No, that kind of crap happens on retail. This is classic. Things happen as they happen. They occur when they occur. That's what that's that's what makes a RPG so amazing is that there's no box that things are going to fit in. Whereas in classic nothing fits in a box whereas in retail everything has to fit into a box and when things don't fit into a box guess what the fun police comes along and boom they make it break it whatever they make it fit into a box and it just ruins everybody's experience so it felt really organic i really loved having that mount and honestly i'm still rocking that mount i know there's people in my guild already rocking around with their epic mounts that's cool that's awesome they're manipulating the auction house because they got their professions max super early and they start making a huge impact i've got a guy who is probably, if not, he is he has got to be server first with Crusader Enchant because there's no way anybody else has got this. Literally, like he's got add-ons for the for the auction house. <laughs> nobody, and I mean absolutely nobody, has been buying up the mats or using the mats for Crusader Enchant. So he's thinking either A, nobody's going out of their way to buy the enchants because they don't have the enchant, or B they have it and they're just farming it on their own and keeping it quiet and waiting for the market to start to flourish a little bit so he had that last week and I was just completely just just blown away by how much his effort has just rewarded him and he has so much gold and he's got his epic mount and he's helping people in the guild you know you know getting in chance for, for for the cheap he's actually like not giving me things but he's giving me things at a like as in like a gift he doesn't do that he's completely against his method and i wouldn't let him do it even if even if he offered it i've even told him this he messaged me one time we were there was a race there was a race to level 60 in our guild it was all in good fun um and i lost because i screwed up i got to like 57 no it was 56 i was fit no i was level 53 i logged in i got to 54 55 56 and people in my stream were like zara no sleep till 60, make it happen. And I was like, dude, I was going to do that tomorrow. And they're like, no, 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 do it now. The guy I was competing with <laughs> had actually gone to sleep at this point. And I was like, I need to just go to bed, dude. I need to go to bed. I need to go to bed now. If I go to bed now, I'll get up probably the same time he does. And then I can push and stay ahead of him. Even if he'd spam dungeons the entire way through, I had such a, I had such a fall. I had almost a full level and a half, or it's not a level and a half, a full level ahead of him. That even if I just grinded mobs, which was basically what I had started doing, I went from 57, 58 just from grinding mobs nonstop. Check out my Twitch at uh, twitch.tv slash saltyzera if you don't believe me. That was ridiculous. Um, I was just killing mobs in EPL for hours. It was ridiculous. And I crashed, dude. I told the stream. I was like, man, I just got into Silithus. I was fixing to start farming Hydraxian rep and killing those 55, 56 elementals. I was like, I'll kill two birds with one stone. I'll get this grind knocked out. I'll get my rep knocked out. And I'll be level 60. And then all of a sudden, my stream was like, dude, you need to go to bed, dude. Like, you look like hell. You've got to go to bed. Like, I had had, I, I brought my two kitchen mats that I could stand on because I've got, you know, soft gel on them. I would turn my desk into a stand-up desk. I'd done everything I could to just try and stay awake. Multiple times during this, like, towards the end of that 30-hour stream, I caught myself going. <laughs> Long story short, I went to bed. I logged back on the next day. Oh, boy, that I was competing with was, was 59. And I was like, oh, man, congratulations. You got it, dude. And uh, <laughs> he's kind of a troll, but... He whispered me at some point. He was like, man, it's all in good fun. I was like, hell yeah, dude. So I was a little bent because I knew I could have won it. But he actually ended up, you know, bowing out at the end. Once he made 60, he's like, hey, bro, here's the, you know, the reward that the guild was going to give out to the first person that made 60. He's like, here, here's this thing. You can use it for your giveaway um, on your stream. And I was like, awesome, man. Thank you so much. And it, like I said, it was all in good fun. Nobody was trying to cut nobody's throats. Nobody was trying to get ahead of anybody. It was all in good fun. You can't do that kind of crap in retail because there's no, there's no community. There's no real give and take. There's just, you know, I just want to get on, do my stuff. I want to get my plus 10 and get the hell off. Like there's nothing that drives you to commit to helping your guild or, or guild members at all. We've got people that are helping people farm 
their bis. We've got people helping people in the guild to get to level 60. We've got people, I had people straight up. I got from 15, I got from 58 to 60 from farming BRD with one guild group. And then I got from 59 to 60 from farming Elbers with another guild group. And it was ridiculous. We got in, we knocked it out. Three or four hours later, boom, I dinged. I was like, holy smokes, why haven't I been doing this all day? And, you know, it's just part of the experience. I wanted to do the questing experience. I did it up to, like, my low 50s. I was like, quests are starting to get really sporadic. They're spread all over the place. They're not really condensed in an area in, at a, in an area where you can do them all in, like, a good span. Like, places like Syrian Gorge are kind of all grouped together. Um, Badlands is kind of all grouped together. EPL is kind of grouped together, but also not very well because they're all, like, right there in... Uh, Lights Hope Chapel, but that's like all most of those are like Scolo, Strat, not quite high enough level by the time those levels are available for you to actually get into those dungeons. So it just started getting really sporadic, and I was like, I need to just start doing dungeons. I didn't want to, I refused to until the absolute last possible minute. And when I finally did hit 60, it dawned on me. I was like, you know what? I'm level 60. I need to take a break. <laughs> I took a day break. And I was probably halfway through my, my, on my one and only day off. And I was planning on taking a couple of days off. And it hit me. You're level 60. I'm level 60. Oh my gosh, I'm level 60. I can do anything I want. I can go to Strat. I can go to UD. I can go to Live. I can go to Scolo. I can go to Elbers. I can go to Ubers. I can go to freaking anywhere I want to go. Anywhere I want to go. I can work on getting my Epic Mount. I can work on getting Hydraxian rep. I can work on my Biss. I can work on so much. Harjan Dawn rep. Freaking Scenarian Hold rep. Thorian Brotherhood rep. Anything I want to work on. Work on professions. I can quit in the auction house. I do all this stuff. And you log on and you're just like, there's so much freedom. I can do whatever I want. Anything I want. I can do anything I want, however I want to do it. It's my journey. I can pick and choose the ways in which I want to go. There isn't this never-ending world quest grind. There isn't this never-ending like mythic plus 10 grind. There isn't any of this nonsense where, you know, a patch is going to come in and completely wipe out all the progression that you've made because all the gear you picked up in the last patch are now obsolete. There's none of that nonsense. There's none of that BS. Okay? You log on and it's like it's like the world of Warcraft comes and says, here's the playing field. Everything on this playing field is yours for the taking. Here. Do with it whatever you want. Blows my mind, dude. Every day. Every day I log on on my stream and I'm like, what the hell am I going to do today? What the hell am I going to do today? We started doing Hydraxian rep. We ran out. Of, we ran out of stuff to do. We got all this. We were like, we got some really great stuff in the auction house, like the Axe of Deep Woods that dropped for me, just randomly. I'm farming for my blue dragon sinew from the blue dragon kin in the in Winter Spring. There's just so much to do. I started farming for demonic runes the other day, so I get ready for the raid next week. Be looking forward to that. Twitch.tv/saltyzera. Be checking that out. Be raiding next week. That'll be so much fun. So when I come back. When I come back on Monday, bro, it's going to be all about how to get in the Hydraxian rep. Got to get that Ubers wrapped up so I'll be Oni attuned. And it's going to be a wrap, man. It's going to be a wrap. I'm super excited. I'm a hit cap. I have over 1,000 attack power. I have over 12% chance to crit. It's a wrap, dude. I have a 4,000 health and over 3,000 mana when fully buffed. It's a wrap. Stack me up about 15 or 20 demonic runes. And, you know... Whoever gets Trank Shot gets Trank Shot. Whoever gets Giant Stalker when it drops gets Giant Stalker when it drops. Whoever gets the Ancient Leaf gets the Ancient Leaf. And good luck to whoever does get the Ancient Leaf. Because if you need a guide on how to do that nonsense, be looking forward to your boy's video in the next couple weeks when I get it. I'm going to be doing a guide. I'll be knocking out on live on my stream. Again, twitch.tv at SaltyZera. Or excuse me, twitch.tv slash SaltyZera. I will see you guys in the next video. As always, love you guys. Be kind to one another and have fun in the world of Warcraft. Zara out.